wants to go first. Who's going to be the quarterback? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're still doing exit interviews with a lot of our guys, so we didn't finish up exit interviews. We're going to finish up this weekend when I get back, and then uh, we'll go from there sometime next week. And then after the uh, A day, you know, Gus talked about wanting to have one. I guess kind of some kind of order la last week. Did you guys discuss an order at all? Well, that's what we're we're finishing yeah. up in our exit interviews. Mm -hmm. Once we finish those up, then me and Coach Malzahn will get together this weekend and uh, kind of discuss a plan in terms of where we want to go from there. Uh, I was pleased with honestly how how they all played. I mean, if you look at the first half, which was really the the, the, the half where we were being aggressive and getting after it, I mean, I felt like all those guys showed uh, some ability to be successful at this level. Just being your first spring here at Auburn, I mean, what did you take away most from this spring season? Well, I think, I mean, the biggest takeaway I got was I thought our guys had fun. You know, when I first got here, I felt like that was kind of the, the downfall is kind of, you know, people weren't flying around and having fun. And at the end of the day, football is a game where you got to be focused and you got to be intentional with everything mm -hmm. you do, detailed. But you also got to be able to have fun. You got to fly around and, and be, play who you are. You have to play to your personality. So I thought that was the fun thing for me was to get to know the guys, get to know their personality, and then try to bring out their personality uh, with how they play. We saw you at practice hopping around, running around, like when, during stretching and during drills and all of that. I mean, where does that come from? Because we're used to seeing coordinators and stuff like that be very, very laid back. You're, you're kind of different. I mean, I'm 28. I better be. I, mean, I better. I better be jogging around. I mean, when I when I'm 58, maybe I'll I'll get a Segway or some new technology and, and go around. But but right now, you know, that, that's kind of who I am. I mean, I'm I'm an all-in type of guy. I'm, I'm energetic, on the field, off field, whatever I do. You know, that's kind of it's kind of who I am. So when I when I hit the field, I'm gonna be who I am, and uh, I'll always be that way as long as as long as my unathletic knees allow me to. So. <laughs> When you first got to Auburn to, to where you are now with the quarterbacks, what did you work on technique-wise? What are some things you try to polish with those guys individually? I think all of them are different. Uh, I know in particular there were some guys who when they took drops, their shoulders weren't level, took drops, they didn't have a base. So I think the biggest thing for me was getting their drops down, being consistent with their drops. I mean, when you play quarterback, you can't be worried about what type of drop you're going to take or how you're going to take the drop. It's got to be natural to the play. So I think that was the biggest thing for us was the fundamentals of, of it sounds so beginner, we didn't do many drills. We lined up and we took drops all spring. Drops, drops, drops. And you're going to look at it and say, man, y'all didn't get better. But football, is, it's, a, it's a pretty simple game when you break it down. And, and that's where everything starts is at the feet of the quarterback. So we really focused on the base of our quarterbacks and making sure they're driving off their foot and making sure they're having a base in their drops. I know you said you and Gus haven't sat down and you know established that pecking order, so to speak, but after 8A, he said that realistically you can't go into the offseason with four guys still competing. So like, what is the ideal situation once you guys sit down and figure that out? I think the ideal situation is narrowing it down to you know two guys who we feel like can, can win it. But at the same time, uh, you can never push those things. You know, a starter will emerge when a starter emerges. And I think, you know, people always ask, is there a timeline? Is there this? When are you going to make a decision? I don't think every situation is different. A decision is going to be made on our starting quarterback when one of our guys on our football team rise up and they make the decision. You know, that's not a, that's a decision the, the offense coordinator and the head coach make, but at the same time, it's a decision the player makes. When the players separate themselves from one another, that's when the decision's made. And until then, uh, you know, we'll just – Go status quo. Is, is Gus kind of a, I don't know, have you seen kind of old school mentality in that way? Like he's told us, hey, we're a football coach. Like we'll go out there and compete and play football. And yeah. Years. But as, as, have you seen that? Just up I the mean, I, I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, what people say, the old Gus slash the new Gus slash back to the old Gus. Uh, I, I don't know that. I haven't been here. I've been here for, for this December on and uh, he's brought it every day. One thing I can say about him is every day he shows up ready to work. And uh, it's fun to be around because every day you're going to be you're going to be on your toes because he's going to push you to be better. Uh, whether you're a coach, whether you're a player, whether you're in recruiting, he's going to push you, keep you on your toes to make sure you're ready to be the best you can be. With the running back.